Welcome to another episode of the Wong Reviewer. In my last video, I did a part one of replacing my GTX 1070 with the RTX 2080 Super. Part two of this series is to install the NVIDIA Studio Drivers RGB Lighting Utility and the Tweak 2 Utility to customize the GPU. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for similar content. Head to the official ASUS website. I'll leave a link in the description below for the support page to download the drivers. On the support page, select more products, select graphics card, under product series, select NVIDIA series, and then select the model of your GPU. In this case, it's the Strix. 2080 Super. So I'm just going to search that up in the drop down. So it's this one here. You, it brings up a picture to show you what you have. And you can confirm that. And then we hit Driver and Tools. I'm going to select Windows 10 64 bit. And there's three things to install. The NVIDIA Studio Content Driver is the first one I'm going to install. The main reason why I purchased this GPU, or the Strix 2080 Super, was for DaVinci Resolve. And NVIDIA has a specific driver to speed up DaVinci Resolve, or right, to make it more stable than the gaming driver. So as you can see here, it, has, it supports DaVinci Resolve. It talks about how much faster it is, up to 14 times faster for a desktop setting. So this is why I'm installing this driver. If you're not a content creator, I suggest you just download the gaming driver. In this, ex in this video, I'm just going to show you the studio version of it. So here, this is the latest version of the content driver. I'm just going to hit download. Save it to my downloads folder, extract it, and now I'm just going to install it. So I'm just going to speed up the timeline to show you the installation process. So it goes through its checking system compatibility, license agreement, and then installing it. And again, just for the sake of speed, I just fast forward it to show you the installation process in general. Now I'm going to scroll through to the utility section of the downloads. The second thing I'm going to install is the Aurora RGB lighting control. And the third thing I'm going to install is the Tweak 2. So under Utilities, I'm going to select the Aura RGB, hit Download. And then the second thing I'm going to install, or the third thing, pardon me, I'm going to install is the GPU Tweak 2. So I'm going to hit download to that. Now that I have both utilities installed, I am going to install the Tweak 2 utility first. Double click on it. And then I'm going to take you through the installation process. Now it's preparing to install. I'm going to click Next. Select the folder you want. I would use the default folder. Hit Next. Click Next again and let it install. It's pretty quick. And then I'm just going to not restart my computer because I want to install the other utility. I want to install the Aura RGB lighting. So I'm going to go to my download file, extract all. Double click the installation package and then go through the install process. I'm just going to click next. I'm going to install it on the default location. And now I actually want to restart my computer for both changes to occur and then hit finish. When you first restart your computer, the Tweak 2 utility will automatically load. The left hand panel shows you some. GPU readings such as your temperature, your GPU usage, memory usage. 
it's handy if you want to see what's taking up resources or where your card is. If you click on this button, you can actually show and change what you want to see visible as a bar graph. Here, I deselected the fan. I'm going to move the temperature up. I'm going to move the GPU usage up. So it's kind of nice. You can customize it to what you want to see or what you feel is more important. And once you apply it, you can see a visual representation of all the readings that you wanted to keep track of. I can see this being handy if you decide to do benchmarking of games. Um, for me, when I do 4K rendering, I want to see what the stress is on the GPU. I can use this to kind of monitor the stress of the, of the video card. So I say this is a pretty handy utility. On the right hand panel, gives you the opportunity to set your GPU into different modes, such as right now I'm on gaming mode. It's kind of neat. It gives you a triangle representation between performance, coolness, and silence. And as you flip through the different modes, the graph tells you. So if I hit overclock, it's more geared towards performance. Gaming is kind of in the middle. In silent mode, the GPU settings is more towards the silent. Quiet. And here you can see the VRAM usage to GPU speed. A gaming booster, if you choose it, you can optimize the system performance of one click. Adjust Windows visuals without making any changes. And it also gives you the GPU temperature. There's an advanced mode where you can actually customize the setting for your GPU. So for instance, the GPU core clock allows you to adjust the GPU core frequency. The memory clock allows you to adjust the GPU memory frequency. And there is more options. You can scroll down. And then, the, for instance, the GPU target, the GPU temp target sets the temperature at which the GPU core will throttle to the normal 3D operating frequency. So this is how you would overclock your GPU. So there's lots of customizations that you can use using this utility. You can tweak it to the performance that you need it for, whether it's gaming, for 4K rendering, so this is kind of a nice utility. If you want to know what the GPU settings at when you did silent mode, you can actually search through this and see what the settings are for silent mode. You can also customize a profile that you want to set the GPU at. For me, I'm going to leave it balanced. I'm going to leave it as gaming mode. You can hit GPU Z. And what it does is just gives you some stats about the hardware. Here you can see what driver versions you have, what BIOS versions you have, your device ID, what DirectX, and what uh, do you support OpenCL, CUDA. So now we hit Tools and the Aura Graphics card. You can hit Start. So because we install the RGB lighting, you don't have to actually click on the separate application to open it. You can just use it from the Tweak 2 utility. And here you, there's just different options that you can use to change the color and frequency of your RGB lighting on the card. For me, I'm just going to click Special Effects and then hit GPU Temperature. So I can quickly look at the case to see where the GPU temperature is just by the color. And that's it. That is an overview of the Tweak 2 and RGB lighting.